All right, yeah, uh, just I read before, you know, Joel chapter 3, 1 to 3, 2. Uh, um, when they're talking about they should be guided, the Valley Jehoshaphat, uh, is talking about all the nations that's in the Middle East now about the, uh, uh, going to war with each other, you know. <clears throat> that's also their judgment, which is going to kick off World War Three. All right, and the main judgment is... Uh, America destroyed by thorough nuclear destruction. All right. You can read that in Revelation um, 17, I believe 17, 12 through 15. And it says, it shall burn her with fire. All right. I made a bush of scriptures, but man, it's total destruction of America. That's all. Uh, that goes on with the uh, most high bringing them down. Jehoshaphat in Joel chapter 3. And then on down 3, when they talk talking about um, the old coast of Palestine, Ishmael had their hand. In slavery, uh, also Esau, so-called white man, and um, Ham, those um, so-called Africans. All right, because <clears throat> that's how you so-called Negroes um, got over here. Some of the Southern Kingdom, Judah, got over here to um, the Americas. All right. Um, you can also read that Deuteronomy uh, twenty-eight and sixty-eight. All right. But it says right here, um, it says, um, the Ebo been at Israel through, um, though having no written evidence of their Jewish heritage, maintain a strong oral tradition and practice many Jewish customs in secret. All right. So they was keeping the Israelite custom in secret, even though they lost the Torah. They passed it down orally. All right. And that's how it was. Um, uh, our forefather Abraham. All right. For you scoffers talking about what the Bible written, I'll be always had it from the beginning, man. Going even going way back to um Adam, man. You know, we just we just doing it orally. It just happened that um when, when Moses um. Uh, it was on my sign, I, uh, Moses just written it down, um, you know, and we made that covenant with, um, Yahweh, all right, um, though have no written evidence in Jewish heritage, maintain a strong oral and tradition and practice many Jewish customs in secret, records of these medieval Jewish communities found in Timbuktu, Mali, Islamic, um, library indicate the, the um, presence of Jewish families in the region before the arrival of Islam. Now, I, I personally know, uh, I personally know um, a J family, um, so-called Negro family, um, for years, and their uh, their Islamic bloodline goes back to uh, the Israelites of Cameroon. All right, we've been there since the medieval ages, and Lord willing, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get an interview with their great with their great auntie, you know, be, um, you know, uh, before the Lord take her, you know, most high willing, um, cause she's real sick now. Um, in modern day Nigeria, the Igbo Israel practice a normal customs born in Jewish tradition. Males are circumcised. On their eighth day of life, yep. And that, that goes along with this uh, scripture. So, uh, um, There it go. It says uh, Genesis 24, um, 20, Genesis 21 and 24. Hey, Abraham uh, circumcised his son Isaac, being eight, day old, eight days old, as the Most High commanded him. Yep. It says right here, Genesis uh, 17 and, and um, 10. It said, this is my covenant um, 
I'm going to start with 9. And the Most High said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant there, therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you, and thy seed thee. Every man child among you should be circumcised, and ye should circumcise out the flesh or foreskins. And there should be a token, a covenant between twist me and you. Verse 12, And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every man child of your generation, he that is born in the house, or borrow money of any strangers, which is not of thy seed. All right. Verse 13, He that is born in my house, and that is bought with money, must needs to be circumcised. My covenant shall be in your flesh for everlasting covenant. All right. Which means a contract agreement. So it goes along with what they says right here. All right. Um, women are separated during their menstrual cycles. Yep. The crossbreeding of plants and animals is forbidden. That's in the scriptures. It is as consum consumption of of uh, non kosher animals. Even um, your um, your Kapoor and Sukkot are celebrated. There has been a research of Jewish learning among the Igbo being a Israel, right? They waking up to the truth. Now you do uh, you got some Edomite so called Jewish people going over there and they they uh, trying to get our people to Judaism, but the most high didn't give our people Judaism. He gave them law, statute and commandments. Alright. Because the word Judah come from the word um Judaism come from the word uh part of Judah, uh, which is Yahweh, all right, which means he, he um um, he thanks. All right. Ism on uh, ism talking about doctrine, but see, it was more than one one tribe, man. All right. <clears throat> so how could it be Judaism? It was more than one tribe. All right, because that's just one tribe or one kingdom. All right, it was consists of Judah, Benjamin, Levi. It was more than it was all twelve tribes. All right. <clears throat> It says, uh, it says Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All right. He have not dealt with so any nation as for his judgment. They had not known him. Praise ye, Yahweh. All right. So there's no such thing as Judaism, man. It's the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. Um, there are currently 26 Igbo and non-Igbo synagogues in Nigeria, and Hebrew and Torah study have increased as well. The Igbo uh continue to work with researchers to better trace their history so they may be recognized by the Jews of Israel. See that? Why would they need to be recognized by the Jews? They already Israelites. You don't need to be recognized by uh, no fake, no fake uh, Ashkenazi uh, Jewish people over there in Israel that's in our land, uh, Amalekite, the Edomites. All right, you recognized by the Most High. Yahweh and his son, um, Yahweh shall people ignorantly call Jesus. All right, this, this is how you come back to Yahweh, man. You don't got to be recognized by those, those um, dogs, man. All right, um, see, um. Jeremiah chapter 3 it said the most high gonna bring us back in that land, man. Alright. Um uh, trying to
trying to find it. Um, just be um. It says right here, Leviticus uh, 26 and 40. And if they should confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers, which is talking about Israel, all right, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and um, our brethren that's, that's um, in the East, all right, with their trespass, which they trespass against me, and that also they had walked contrary unto me. And that I also have walked country unto them and have brought them to the land of their enemies. All right, right, which is uh, America, the other country. If then their also hearts be humble and they then accept of the punch of iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. And will I remember and I will remember the land. All right. All right, so you know, there you go, man. All right, that's how you turn to Yahweh, man. You, 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 uh, you face to the east, Jerusalem. Put your hands up, say the prayers, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, which is God in the name of Jesus, but His name is not Jesus, and the most high name is not God. His name is Yahweh. All right, which is He is Yahweh Shai. I mean, He is deliverer. All right, and you confess your sins, man. You confess your also confess your forefathers' sins. That's how you return to your house. All right, but uh, this is it. All right, brother, shout out.